if you look at our, our manual, you're going to find a, um, in Chapter 7, a fire system. This system probably doesn't exist because it's got every possible uh, scenario here, but it's just there to show you the possible things that could exist on a fire system. So here we have a detector check. Um, we have a backflow preventer, so it could be a double check, double check detector assembly, double check detector assembly type 2, RP, RP detector assembly, RP detector assembly type 2. Um, that's all you could use. Couldn't really be using a vacuum breaker or an atmospheric vacuum breaker. There's often a fire department connection. In this case, a fire truck can hook up to that to increase the pressure downstream of the backflow preventer and increase the pressure to the sprinkler heads. Um, you may have an on-site fire hydrant. This may be used to uh, put out fires on site, obviously. Um, a flow alarm, that's usually a, a, a flow alarm check valve, where basically there's a check valve here, and as water continue, starts to flow, uh, you know, once it gets up to a certain flow rate, the alarm goes off to the fire department so they know that water is being used to sprinkler systems in operation putting out a fire. Um, and then you also have uh, some sort of auxiliary water supply. It'll be either a well or some other on-site storage. Something's going on there that's allowing, uh, that where you're using this water, you could use this water for fire um, fighting purposes. So these are several different things that you may come across. Um, but let's look at them and see what we can use for, to protect against uh, backflow. So the single check, detector check, valves. Uh, double check detector, double check detector 2, RP, RP 2. A single check valve. So a single check valve, um, basically when we look at the double check valve assembly, this is one of the two check valves. Typically single check valves in fire systems are not um, testable in the sense they don't have test cocks where you can hook up and get readings off of them. Um, you may be able to apply pressure downstream and determine whether or not any water leaks through. Um, but but they're not testable in the sense that a backflow preventer is testable. Um, they're also not considered backflow uh, preventers. A single check valve is never considered adequate for backflow protection. So often, a single check valve could fail. You'd want to go uh, more than, have more than just a single check valve. But you will find single check valves in uh, fairly common in fire sprinkler systems. Um, here, it's sort of a clapper assembly here where water uh, will flow through here. This is going to go through pushing open the check valve, um, and as it pushes open the check valve, water continues to flow. And again, if water stops flowing, hopefully the check valve closes. In this case, it's spring-loaded. There's a torsion, torsion spring up here, the, which closes the check valve and will not allow backflow to occur. But again, as we mentioned earlier several, several times, uh, I mean, uh, it's not uncommon to have, you know, 5 to 10 percent of single check valves fail, that's why if you, um, you know, if 1 in 10 fails, if you have 2 in series, that drops it down to 1 in 100, so it's a lot less uh, likely to have backflow occur through a double check than through a single check valve. Um, single checks, again, are not really considered uh, backflow protection. It's really important to, to know that. Very often we find single checks um, installed in situations that people say, hey, we have a check valve, that should be good enough. They're not designed for backflow protection. I mean, they're used mainly for a fire uh, uh, department, a fire truck to tap into the system downstream of the check valve and to pump against that check valve so it'll force more pressure down to the fire sprinkler system. Um, that's great, but again, it's just a single check valve. It's not designed for backflow protection. It's not tested to the levels that a backflow preventer is tested to, um, to keep backflow from occurring. That's not their, their main purpose. A couple other things, uh, check valve is, is rarely tested, um, rarely inspected. You'll find maybe, uh, well, some of the alarm check, to, uh, alarm check valves that we'll talk about um, are periodically uh, inspected, I think every five years. But again, um, not like the backflow preventers that are tested every year and um, we're assured that they're working properly. Uh, sometimes they get stuck closed, in which case no water can get to the fire. Sometimes they get stuck open, in which case a pumper cannot uh, pump against uh, the check valves. One of the studies we're going to talk about in a little bit, some of these old uh, single check valves were lead-weighted, 
in which case um, the lead is seeping into the drinking water there. So that becomes a, a huge problem. Again, especially if you're using one of the old wed-lated, uh, lead-weighted, wed-lated, that sounded weird, lead-weighted check valves. Uh, then a lot of lead can just dissolve into the uh, drinking water supply. 